Hey everybody, welcome back. It's me, Chris, and today I've got a new video for you. Actually, it's not really that new. I filmed it a while ago, but I never got around to edit it. And I didn't want to scrap it completely because I still feel there's some relevant material here that might be useful to some of you, so I decided to post it anyway. Now, by the title, you probably already know that I go to Costco. And just like every other store I go to, I find what vegan products they have. You need a membership to get in. And I've only been there a couple times in my entire life. So I don't have a membership myself. So I had to go with my friend, Saraswati. She brought me there. She doesn't even live here anymore. She lives in Iceland. But at the time she did, she brought me with her to Costco. And uh, I'm just going to show you some of the products I found there. Now, I know I've got, a, I've got a big beard on my face right now. Well, in this video, my beard's even bigger. Kind of even looks a little ridiculous if you ask me. And there might be snow on the ground. But pay no attention to that because it doesn't really matter. Just enjoy the video, but also know that I filmed it a long time ago. So without further ado, enjoy the video. My friend Sarah Swati home today for a Costco video shopping vegan at Costco. Let's find out what they have. So the first thing I ran into are these huge bags of pistachios. I mean, these are these are going to last a long time. And $14.99, that's a pretty good price. Kashi chewy chocolate almond sea salt granola bars. $12.79 for a huge pack of these. And then these organic coconut uh, cluster berry something or another cranberries. Here's the ingredients. You could feel free to pause it if you ever need to. Pause it, read the ingredients. Uh, coconut clusters, super seeds, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. And right there, vegan friendly. I like to see that. And there's the ingredients for you. Summer Salt Sunflower Seeds Crunchy Bites. Haven't had these. Certified vegan though. It says $8.89. Cliff Bars. Cliff Bars have been around for a long time. I've been eating them for a long time. And again, here's the ingredients. You can go ahead and pause that. At $19.89, that's uh, less than a dollar a bar. And here we have the Kind Bars. Right there it says vegan. Roasted chestnuts. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Roasted hazelnuts, and there they are, in all their glory. And the, the nuts here, the, the cashews, the almonds, the walnuts, well, cashews here are a staple for vegans, and you can make so many different things with them, and a lot of people don't know that, but you can. I'm sure you guys know that. Anyway, $20, huge bag of peanuts, you guys like, Shuck them yourself and uh, the rice rollers. Haven't had these, but $8.99. Now here we have Bark Thins. They have so many different flavors. Now their sugar is fair trade as well as their chocolate, but their sugar is processed through bone char. And if that's a problem, then skip these. Wild Maine. Wild Maine? Wild Maine blueberries. Oh, nice. That's where it's at. Wild blueberries covered with organic vegan chocolate. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds are really good for you. And here we have peanut butter pretzels, or pretzel bites rather, and they're $8.79. Heavenly Hunks Oatmeal Dark Chocolate. I haven't had them. Sustainably sourced, it says. And vegan. Heavenly Hunks. And Sweet Snaps. Coconut chocolate. Only five simple ingredients. And yes, I checked it out. They're vegan. Skinny Pop, certified vegan right there, $5.49. And then these uh, potato chips, crinkle chips, sweet potato chips. Organic lentil turmeric crackers, gluten-free. And there's the ingredients, and there we go, $9.69. Some sea salt kettle chips. And then of course, veggie straws. I'm sure a lot of you guys have tried these before or a variation of them. Certified vegan, kale chips by Rhythm. These are a little bit bigger than the normal bag, so 
$5.97. Got some tortilla chips. Everything's bigger. Maple butter. Let's turn around and see the ingredients. Oh, they were on Shark Tank. 100% maple. Nice. How much is it? That was going to be nice. As you can see, Saraswati was really excited about the maple butter. Here we have nutso. Lots of different uh, nuts and seeds. And um, apparently, this was around during the uh, woolly mammoth time. Almond butter. Kirkland Creamy. I think Kirkland is their uh, Costco brand. And here we have some peach spread. Peach apricot spread by Sarah Beth. Haven't tried it but it seemed like a good price. Uh, Nature's Path, organic pumpkin seed and flax granola. Uh, it says vegan right there on the side next to the ingredients, which is always convenient. And then the ancient grains, granola with almond by Nature's Path. Uh, they have a bunch of these, this is vegan. And then some more kashi, so you're missing that uh, shredded wheat stuff because shredded wheat has gelatin in it this organic cereal doesn't this is vegan there you go if the sugar is organic the sugar is not processed through bone char Piggy pop. banana rama hmm where'd they get that name what? we have some marinara by victoria the healthy potato it's healthy nori seaweed snacks get all your trace minerals in Organic seaweed or gross. Oh my God, that's such a good price. <laughs> Can you tell I don't really care for seaweed? Here we have mango, dried mangoes. And this is a pretty big bag, so I think it's a pretty decent price there. And then we have Don Pepino uh, pizza sauce. It's a big jar of it too, and it's fairly cheap if you guys like to make a lot of pizza. Now, if you're looking for uh, non-perishables this is a really good deal it's good if you're you know prepping or if you know you're gonna be in a zombie apocalypse or something you can stock up on some of this stuff uh, these uh, not not so cheap but delicious nonetheless and vegan I actually just had a can of soup tonight 1359 now we have these rice ramen for 899 it's a pretty big bag and it says vegan right on the front you can uh, make these up however you like. And then we have Chana Masala. I ended up getting this and it's really good. They're convenient and they come in little pouches. And they come in healthy for a quick meal for $11.59. Ooh, quinoa, $9.49. Oh, that's a really good, that's a really good price for the quinoa. Now, I would assume that most people today know what quinoa is. It's getting more and more popular. It's extremely healthy. It's rich in protein, B vitamins. And chia seeds are also very healthy for you for $6.49 a bag. Now, here's how you eat for cheap. Huge bags of rice and grains uh, and have a lot to eat for cheap. So big bags of rice, uh, quinoa. Quinoa is a little bit more expensive, but quinoa rice, brown rice. And uh, here it is. These are organic. Saraswati really pointed these out. And over here we have the, uh, the brown rice. Huge bags of it. And you can really stock up on this stuff and, and make uh, your food last a, a while. You can food prep and whatnot. Rice, these are big, uh, big bags of rice, jasmine rice. I really personally like jasmine rice. 25 pound bags for $14.99. Now we just have like your common stuff. Obviously it's vegan, but you got bigger uh, varieties. So you're actually saving money on it. These are soy sauce, a huge bottle of it. And here we have two big bottles of organic blue agave and uh, it's $8.99. So you're really kind of saving here rather than buying other stuff. And then huge bags of flour if you're a baker. Huge bags of walnuts. I usually have a big bag of walnuts anyway. They're really good for you. You get your omegas and they're pretty cheap as far as uh, nuts go. Yaki soba noodle bowl. And here's the ingredients for you, 11.59. You're gonna have to pause that, sorry. And the veggie bowl, organic veggie bowl, 6.99. And here we have some organic protein powder by Vega.
And then if you want to make smoothies or just have some frozen fruit, these are some good prices here. Suja, Suja makes some really good uh, juices. And uh, yeah, it's got a lot of uh, nutrients in there and it is labeled vegan. Huge tubs of hummus for $5.79. Who doesn't like hummus? The roasted pine nut, that's one of my favorites. And this organic lentil vegan soup. I wonder if it's vegan. Oh wait, yes, it's vegan. Haven't tried it though. Let me know how it is. And then we have almond milk, soy milk, organic, of course. And it's $11.99. And I mean, they just stretch far with produce. These are bananas. I like to stock up on bananas because I like to freeze them and make my smoothies in the morning. So that's a pretty good price. We have Dave's Killer Bread. Dave's Bread's always good. Now remember, this is a two pack. So that's cheaper than uh, just buying one. Usually find that at Target. But uh, two for two for what seven thirty nine, and then more produce. You got your watermelons, two watermelons for six ninety nine. That's a deal, at least where I live. Sweet potatoes, my dogs love sweet potatoes, but so do I. Beets, medjool dates. I think this is a really good deal. Check these out, medjool dates for seven ninety nine. Uh, fig bar, thirty six pack, vegan. We found this couch here. You can't forget the bitchin' sauce. Huge tubs of bitchin' sauce. If you haven't tried this, you gotta try it. They have several different flavors, but this is the only one I saw there. And then the, the late July jalapeno lime, those are really good. And then these superfood veggie burgers. I really liked them. They're more veggie-like than meat meaty. So if you're like that, then go with these. Um, they're not quite like the Beyond Burger. But they do have Beyond Burgers, as you see. It's always nice to see a variety of different vegan products. Costco had a lot of vegan products out there, so. Great success. Definitely get a membership if you want to buy in bulk and save money on the vegan thing. Everything from produce to frozen fruits to organic. dates, organics, quinoa. Super food. They got it. This is a little extra bonus. We're going to try a couple of the products here. Wait, they don't stop waiting. Okay. I don't know where I'm going. I don't either. Well, you're going up here and then taking a left. Okay. What are you eating? Do you have the package? Oh, yeah. that those coconut. I might be eating this one. So we tried the coconut. The coconut. What are they called? What were they called? I have no idea. Coconut crisps. Coconut cashew crisps. Yeah. Wild Maine blueberry. I think you're gonna open it. I'm gonna open it. That's what they look like. They're these little squares of chocolate. Here, you try one. I can smell the blueberry already. Wow, the blueberry smells amazing. Wild blueberry. These things are not tame. These are pretty wild. They might make you do weird things. Okay. <laughs> I just edited it off the curse word that she just said, <laughs> but they are really good. Really good. Amazing. Mm hmm. Kind of. I like to let it melt in my mouth. Chew it a little bit, but they're made by Nibmore. That's how blueberries should taste. These are so good. Here, have another one. No, I'm not gonna either. Put them in my hand. I'm gonna put them back here. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.